about to dive into Sunday's nominations, which happens to be the most diverse in Oscar history. Nichelle, mm -hmm. five years ago, hashtag Oscars so white brought a long-standing problem to the forefront. Can you take us through that movement? Yeah, definitely, Drew. You know, this started in uh, 2015, this campaign, uh, hashtag Oscar So White, after every single one of the acting categories um, were devoid of persons of color. And so the Academy realized that they did have a problem and they decided we have to take steps to right these wrongs. So back in 2020, they um, attempted to do just that. They took a first step and they brought in 819 new members to the Academy. They wanted it to be a diverse group of people and it was, 45 percent of those folks were women. 36 percent of those folks were from underrepresented groups. So um, the, you know, people of color in the industry. And then another 39 percent of them were international actors and, and people from other countries. So they could bring different perspectives, show uh, films from different perspectives. So the Academy has gone a long way to trying to right those wrongs. And this year, I think we will see a banner moment when every single one of the acting categories could be and probably will be won by a person of color. Um, we have a graphic of over the last decade, so over the last 10 years, those six actors in the middle mm -hmm. are the only actors of color that have won an Academy Award. You see them, Lupita Nyong'o, Mahershala Ali, Octavia Spencer, Viola Davis, then we've got Regina King, Rami Malek. Those six actors right there are the only actors in the last 10 years that have won Academy Awards. Mm. Well, let's check out the first category. Here are the nominees uh, for best actor in a leading role. Kevin, talk us through this group. I just want to start with the fact that, look, Gary Oldman was great in Mank. He is great in Mank and it's an old school Hollywood look and a lot of people like him as a favorite, but Riz Ahmed in The Sound of Metal is spectacular. I think he is one of the great young actors. And Steven Yoon in Minari, mm -hmm. the way he goes through this movie with emotion and Fantastic. heart, you will love it. But Let's not forget Chadwick Boseman's nomination for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Talking to his co-stars, and they talked about his process and how deeply he was in this and that they didn't know how sick he was. And he fought through to give this incredible performance. This is his Oscar, and he deserves this Oscar. It was a spectacular performance. And by the way, it marks the first time in Oscar history that this category is not majority white men. So it is very important. And also, uh, let's not forget Sir Anthony Hopkins in um, The Father. Watch for Sir Anthony yeah. Hopkins. If he were to upset, he would be the oldest ever Best Actor yes. winner at 83 years old. Okay, let's see yeah. who our VFFs predicted um, will win Best Actor in a Leading Role. Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. Well Great done, job, VFFs. VFFs. Thank you so much. All right, let's take a look at the nominees for Best Actress in a Leading Role. Nichelle? We've got Viola Davis for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Andra Day for the United States versus Billie Holiday, Vanessa Kirby for Pieces of a Woman, Frances McDormand for Nomadland, and Carrie Mulligan for Promising Young Woman. Every single one of these performances was spectacular. Yes. I mean, they really were spectacular. Every single one of these women brought something special to this role. And I don't know how you pick. It's come down to a three-person race. I don't know if this one is settled. I think Viola Davis, Andrew Day, and Frances McDormand are all mm -hmm. fighting this one out. And so if any of their, their names are called on Sunday night, I wouldn't be surprised. I think this race, Best Actress, is the closest race of the night. Mm. This one Absolutely. tough to call. Frances McDormand won the BAFTA, which is the British Academy Award. Andrew Day won the Golden Globe. Viola Davis won the Screen Actors Guild Award. It is a toss up. Let's see who our VFFs predicted will win Best Actress in a Leading Role. Oh, they cool. picked. Viola, Viola Davis. Davis. Oh, wow. Wow. Let's take a look at the nominees for Best Supporting Actor. Kevin, do you have a favorite? When you look at these men and their performances, they have been transcended. Sasha Baron Cohen, let's not forget, Trial of Chicago 7, he was just as good in the Borat film, and he has become this versatile actor that we look at and we love, all right? I thought Daniel Kalua and Judas in The Black Messiah was incredible. Yeah. The acting was brilliant. Oh my goodness. When you talk about Leslie Odom Jr., a great talent, yeah. one night in Miami, and he was Sam Cooke. Yeah. And when he sang, you lost your mind. He was scared mm -hmm. to play this role because yes. he didn't know well, he if he was, could do Sam Cooke justice. He and was he great. Did. He did. And so yeah. did oh. Andra Day as Billie Holiday. Yeah. And that's I, what I'm saying. When an actor can harness exactly. the music and the performance, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. it's very overwhelming to the voter, and I think you get kind of I, a double win. I still think Daniel wins. All right, well, I, I do too. See but who I'm our VFFs predicted will win Best Supporting Actor. They picked. Come to Papa. Thank <laughs> you, BFFs. With a very close second of Sasha Baron Cohen. I think they're neck and neck right now. And they're both so wonderful. I think that would be the definition yes. of win win. Yeah. All right, don't go anywhere yes. because we're making more Oscar predictions, including our pick for Best Pick after the break. But first, here is Catherine Zeta Jones with her favorite Oscar moment. One of my favorite, favorite Oscar moments was a real, real family affair. It was the year that Chicago was nominated for Best Picture. I was humbled enough to be nominated and to win that year for Velma Kelly. But Best Picture was being presented by Kirk Douglas and Michael Douglas. So as you know, the end of the show is Best Picture. So we waited and waited and waited, and there comes my father-in-law and my husband. And they opened the envelope, they looked at it, they ripped up the, the piece of paper and shouted together in unison, Chicago! And that, for me, would made something that I thought could never be more memorable, memorable beyond belief.